two of the most aggressive players that Tri-State, nevertheless New York, has to offer. Greninja versus Palutena, the destination Pokemon Stadium 2. Welcome to Winner's Final. Right, so this is actually a very classic uh, set that we see almost every week at the weeklies. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, I believe we saw it uh, just last week in, in Grant's uh, Xeno 200, wasn't it? No, nah, that, uh, that was the Buzz John, actually. You're right, it was the but, Buzz John. Yeah. What was I thinking of? It was... Uh, Probably the week before, honestly. Yeah, it you know? might, might well have been, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, right now, we got a little, a little bit of a small lead for Jen, but honestly, anything in these this area is just, like, even neck and neck. Because, like, you just need to get that, like, that confirm that launches your opponent into a kill. Sure it is. And now, as we see... Oh! Venia may be miscalculating the uh, angle of recovery. He will be the first casualty suffered in this best of five clip. And the Nairs, yeah, that wheel, I remember Super Smash Con, it was all just wheel, wheel, wheel for me, I remember that. Oh, back air. Not quite going to connect. Forward air certainly will. Trying to gimp with the Hydro Pump, not finding its mark. But yeah, he calls out jumps so efficiently with that up tilt. It is uh, oh. a little ridiculous how consistently he's uh, yeah. he's getting this. He's such a Absolutely. student of the game. All right, really so now we have good. another uh, even up percents, uh, even up stocks. Yeah, and the percents now. Uh, Venya bringing it back and taking the lead at the same time. Ooh. Jen trying to assert some stage control, but uh, it, it's hard. He's, Greninja's a slippery character, and Vinny is a slippery player. Oh. Throw out the feet, why not? That is not how I meant that. Either way, <laughs> we're going to continue on, folks. That's a dash oh, attack God. into the... Oh, Fal no. Falling out of the up smash. Wow. Gets Catching pumped. the landing with the up tilt. Yeah, you know what? You can do that. Uh, you can do that. I can do that, too, says Jen. Yeah. And now, down throw, looking for the combo off of it. The down tilt to pop him up, and the forward air to knock him out. Down tilt is truly a staple for Greninja uh, when it comes to the edge guarding and getting a kill confirmed. Depending on how you get hit, whether it's by like, like the foot part or the toe part, will like determine on how uh, you'll get knocked, whether straight up or out. No, I mean it's. Uh, Wow. I, I would say, oh my god. What a trap. Punished his get up attack with the dash attack. Didn't kill him, but then uh, upon the edge guard was able to uh, bait him and then punish him with the back air. I do like what Venya is doing right now. Not trying to pursue Jen in the air. Obviously, we've seen Venya go into those blender combos for quite some time in, in this game and in the prior. However, uh, Jen just not having it. He knows that he does not want to meet Palutena in the air with how quickly. I mean, Palutena's in general can turn garbage into gold, but the button inclin, but the inclination to press buttons in the air to get out of situations of Jen is certainly something that Venya is cautious of mm -hmm. and uh, always has been, rightfully so. Back air, going to send him away, but not for long. Venya, right back. You really think you're getting rid of me that easily, Goddess? That is not the case. Double jump. Finally, the fast fall into the forward air. Venia, when I mean, when he is moving, he is absolutely one of the most beautiful players to watch. Unfortunately, moving all the way into the lower blast zone, courtesy of an exacting down. Okay, so Jen was able to stop that and uh, immediately gets rid of. Town and Kalos, I think we're going right back as per both of these players' style. Actually, no. Knowing Benny, we might be auto going to FD. Did he pick? All right, now nah, just going back. Huh? Understandable, honestly. They want the run back. He's like, you know what? Call me Mr. Chimney because I want that smoke. And Venya, <laughs> he's all about it, man. He is a fighter and a warrior to the very core. And one of the reasons that, uh, just one of the reasons why he is considered by some to be the uh, the ace of Deadly Alliance, the hidden boss Greninja of the world. 
And it's so crazy when you think about the reputation that Venya has. I mean, he had the he had the appearance of perhaps the best Greninja in the world, but also simply could not travel mm -hmm. all that much. Now, all of a sudden, you start to see him go over to Jersey a little bit more. Maybe you'll start to see him venture down uh, farther than that. Who knows? But it's really wherever life takes him, it seems that a filthy Greninja is going to follow nonetheless. And indeed, one deserving of the reputation as potentially best Gren on the planet. Yeah, so Venya pulling away with the lead, getting landing that kill. Now Jen, uh, right now on the back, trying to just bring it back to even state. Oh, right. the up smash! <laughs> Beautifully done. Well called out. He was looking for the neutral getup uh, for quite some time now, and all of a sudden Jen finds his mark. And uh, as does Palutena, <laughs> waiting there, daring you get on your feet, says Jen. The slide in. Neutral air. Not going to find his mark. Well shielded by Jen. He can play defensively when he wants to, folks. The grab, down throw, and... Neither player finding much of anything. We're seeing a lot of footsies, but quite a few buttons mixed into there until eventually Venya picks up the bat, swings away and knocks one over for a double, it seems. That's gonna be a ground rule, though. It seems like uh, seems like that went into the stands there, Dev. Absolutely. Am I gonna to have to explain what a ground rule double is? Is that, what's, is that what this is? You have to. Is that what this stream is? All right, it's you know what? Yeah, it, it's spring training's around the corner. We'll, uh, we'll get to that. It's all good. All right. Nonetheless, Palutena. Venya's been throwing nothing but fastballs to continue on with the baseball Whoa. analogies, as evidence there. However, well tech by Jen, sitting at 45%. Back throw. Jen Whoa. will connect with wow. the explosive flame, was not ready for it, and Venya with the little nod of acknowledgement. You caught me, uh, you caught me sleeping, and that's okay. Yeah, his spacing was just a little bit off and thought he was out of the range of like where he would normally do explosive flame. And I think when he shot the shuriken, he shifted his hurt box right into it, and boom, just like that, we have an even last gun last stock. Yeah. Venia. I mean, the onus is always going to be on him, but Jen, not afraid to go in and try to open up uh, this Greninja as well. And we're seeing Venia try to bait out a reaction here. Jen, I mean, and you see Jen pressing these buttons. You see him uh, throwing out that Nair, trying to prompt Venia into dropping his own guard. However, down tilt into up smash. Venia. Catches him in the blender. Not, Not quite going enough. to kill. 123%, however, it's pretty decent shape for Venya. Needs that one big hit to finish this off and even up the set at one. Will he get it here? Not quite as Jen makes it back. Holding shield. Beautiful little pop-up down there. Will not find it. Jen, one of the more aggressive Palutenas that you will find uh, really on the face of the planet. Probably the most aggressive not named Nairo, who knows. Ooh, that that back throw, not quite going to do it. Was closer than usual. Remember, Palutena is at near max rage. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my goodness. Really sharking out that jump. But he actually went for a retreating jump. That's not going to be enough, but all right. Oh, <laughs> well oh. parried by Venya. And he parried really? that just, oh. Okay, yeah, it was. Oh my oh, god. It, that was twice in that game that he got caught. I, I kind of feel flames. I kind of feel like the when he got sent to the blast zone, he thought that back air may have been what may have been what clinched it. And so he like took a breather and like didn't realize that okay, I'm alive, but then wasn't paying attention cuz he just kind of does nothing and just I mean, falls into it. He was trying to autopilot his way back to the stage and that might be Jen. I mean, with as astute a player as he is, he's definitely caught on to the fact that Jen was trying to drift back to stage so that he could set up for his recovery. Venya, maybe not as comfortable as he would like to be yeah, just above wow. the stage. And you're seeing right now, you like your up air combos. Guess what? So do I, says Jen. That's a whole 52 percentage points right there. Yeah, and now, oh my god. Uh, able to roll out of the, the rapid jab uh, as what some patch that happened when you take 12 hits you can just roll out and uh, able to get him up to 70 after like 
full uh, F smash hit. And now, uh, Benya actually not lagging too far behind, able to deal about half of that damage uh, in return. And now we're back into a little neutral position here. Uh, Benya taking some advances. Benya, it seems like more than content to not simply just rush full speed ahead. And that is not a concession that you see uh, Venya giving all that often. But Jen, with how consistent he has been with uh, with his Palutena and certainly with the reawakening that we have seen of his uh, of his Ryu. Yeah. Oddly enough. So now we have, you know, super even percents. Like, there comes a point where, like, when your percent is high enough where if someone just, like, just one wrong move, you're going to die. It doesn't matter. See, see like, uh, Jen was at 80. It, it, he was at that, he was in that window. And now we see Venya, while, you know, was behind in the beginning of that stock, was able to take the first stock. And now he's in the driver's seat. Ooh. Got hit by the tip or tail end of down tilt. I'm not really sure how that works, but sent him outward farther than usual. Maybe he DI'd right and wasn't able to get, get a connection with that back air. Okay. The down air not quite going to connect either. Jen trying to play it safe. Uh, trying to, you know, look for his opening without trying to overextend in any way. And lands a dash attack uh, upon... Venya's like uh, landing forward air, which is normally a pretty safe thing to do, but um, she has the captain's shield, charging yeah. star. Yeah, that thing is. Is that the actual name of the shield? No, I, I was making. I don't know. Captain Look. America joke. Look. NBC. Anyway, you you called out the name of Lucina's sword. I don't know. That's I don't, fair. I, anyway, uh, so I trust you, man. Is what I'm trying to say. Evening it out. Uh. <laughs> yeah, two stocks apiece, and yeah, you're right. Absolutely a very even game. Venya perhaps looking to take the offensive a little bit more, trying to disrupt the rhythm that Jen has uh, found himself in, especially over these past two games. Where he's, Ooh. oh, looking for that counter, but Jen, there you go. Yeah, Jen it's, looking uh, for that spike. Yeah, hey, just when you think he's going to, he zigs when you think you're going to, when he zag. thinks you're going to zag. Yeah, there you go. For some reason, I couldn't find the word zag, and I find myself uh, wondering why. Nonetheless, that looking for a, the up air. That was a Ratchet and Clank taunt in uh, PlayStation All-Stars. He is zig where you should have zagged. Whoop. I found the one person that played PlayStation All-Stars. Oh, folks. see my sly. You won't be able to get up off the ground. Anyway. Oh, oh, oh all right. You know what? Uh, Jen all right, we're money matching. Pun anyway. Uh, hitting his, uh, punishing his shuriken charge, and now is taking the lead. Uh, this is a pretty good situation now because, like, he has to. You know what? Never mind. Ooh, yeah. Uh, let's go, Venya. <laughs> yeah, I think you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you got cut off pretty hard. But then again, so did Jen. Rapid jab, and Venya has gotten a lot of mileage out of that. Uh, out of that jab. Sometimes, I mean, when you when you have nothing else with which to, uh, to with which to open your up your opponent, and Venya does Ooh. not find himself in that position often. Might as well rely on one of the better jabs, one of the quicker jabs. Of Benia always trying to like nope. limit their recover, uh, limit, yeah, limit their recovery by just like putting as much pressure as he can with Hydro Pump or a Greninja Star. Woo! Oh, and that's gonna be it. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Again, that down tilt into up smash. Sometimes you just gotta rely on those bread and butters. And Venia certainly does so. It is two to one. Jen still with the lead, but. Venya is uh, perhaps on the comeback trail with a little bit more confidence and trying to make Jen question his judgment a little bit. However, if we're going strictly by the look on his face, it seems like Jen is just as confident as ever. Uh, yeah, definitely going back to PS2. These two are just monsters of running it back. Uh, they don't care about counter picks. Sometimes Venya will pick FD and then the rest of the set will be on FD just because they, they'll just always run it back. So here we are once again, game four, uh, two to one, Jen's lead, uh, all PS2 set so far. Yeah, it seems like uh, it seems like this is oh. a home field advantage for the guy. You would never know, but yeah, Benny. maybe. Does he have a trainer? Uh, it makes you wonder, right? Yeah, how does wild Pokemon get in here? 
I don't know. This thing is uh, pretty well practiced. I don't know. He could have just. You don't know. And That's remember, true. this is a ninja. You don't know what he did to his master. Yeah. Like, we can't tell. Anyway, super even percents right now. Get, getting well up there where, like, they get the right hit that it will equate to a stock. And. <gasps> oh, no. Ooh, Venia almost handing it to, uh, to Jen. But yeah. instead, takes the stock. I mean, I don't blame Jen for not even going out or anything, just because you you can't expect Venya to make a mistake like that. He left himself hanging above the ledge for uh, a good solid minute there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, like, all things considered, the way he uh, baited out with that uh, counter, the fact that he fell past the ledge, you know, he made it as safe as he could. Sure seems like it, but nonetheless, Venya sitting with a slight advantage, but for how long? Jen, oh. the onus is on him to prove that uh, maybe this Greninja is not as dominant as Whoa. you might think. Okay. Looking for these dash attacks. However, Venya not on the ground long enough to be hit by them. Oh my god! Looking for the counter. That was... I feel like the charging of the Greninja star actually shifted his hurtbox to the last hit of the uh, explosive flame. And then it hit him at that really weird angle. You could very oh well be Lord. right. I'm not sure. But either way, it's Jen sitting with two stocks apiece at 84%. But nonetheless. Okay. Ah, uh, this is not looking good for Jen. But uh, not dying from that kill confirm. So another breath of life. Uh-oh. That back air. I mean, Jen has not gotten a whole lot of mileage out of that back air as of uh, as of late. Not really confirmed many kills. Not like it's uh, made him suffer at all. But it makes you wonder just how quickly that game three would have been over if he were able to connect with one or two of those at ledge. Maybe read uh, Jen's recovery as well as he was doing that game two with those two explosive flames in a row, if we can remember that. Could very well be considered the turning point of this set if Venia is unable to secure it. However, sitting at a, a slight advantage here. Yeah, that trade did result in uh, Jen's second stock. But now we're at a point where Venia is kind of knocking on death's door. And without much to, without much of a damage put on Jen's last stock, looking to even this up. The entire time, Venia had a lead. Oh, and that lead is gone. 3.6% ahead, that's nothing. Yeah, that back air. What did I say? It was bound to come out eventually. Oh, oh. It, okay, that's a lot of dash attacks. But, I mean, that just shows that, like, uh, he knew that Venny was trying to contest every time. He was just like, okay, bro, if you're going to keep pressing, I'm going to I'm gonna press forward. Charging stuff. Absolutely. So now all of a sudden. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> now he's catching down tilts at ledge. Yeah. Uh, Jen, find yourself uh, trading forwarder with the dash oh. attack. Then you trade with dash attack. It's wild. Then oh. he's <laughs> in trouble. Oh, he learned that time. Ooh, great empty hop by Jen. Oh, this is not looking good for Venia, but oh, once he's on that platform, Venia is trying to turn this around. We're seeing. Ooh. Not oh quite my yet. God. He definitely had a had a he had him teed up. He had but a turn there to do it. Yeah, he's a. Uh, That's not. It seems be like it. he's afraid to go out and uh, take advantage of that. Now he knows that Jen can oh. turn garbage into gold rather easily. Gets Jen off stage. The good. shuriken deployed. However, not disrupting the recovery oh, nearly to the extent that he wanted. Oh, and the back air is going to do it. Someone call that thing the Astros because that is cheating. <laughs> Three to one will be the score. And, and Jen will move on. To winner side grands. Uh, yeah. Wow. That is, uh, that is beautiful stuff. And Jen, well deserved by him. Uh, mm -hmm. It was a beautiful, beautiful set really all in all. In all. But... Venia, we saw what he was taking advantage of off of prior opponents. Jen never really gave him that opportunity, maybe closing up a little bit to the point where Venia, had, all of a sudden, is trying to bait out reactions uh, from mm -hmm. uh, from Jen. And it really was just who is going to bite first and, of course, leave it to the amphibian to bite the bait. Yeah.